the credentials of the fallen angel AJ Styles and Samoa Joe speak for themselves but tonight ball. all three men in different new original matches from Cameron North Carolina he went in at 225 pounds he is known as the lady in Palmyra, Virginia screams her head off for the charismatic enigma, love him or hate him. He is unique, he is different, and he is TNA Wrestling. So you talk about the love. I'm willing to bet this crowd is going to be very 50, very 50-50 in their cheers for both of these competitors to the true greats in TNA today. The wild will even be split right down the middle. Jeff Hardy with it, one of his signature poses here in Palmyra to take on the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles, of course, comes into every match with a much more laid back complexion than Jeff Hardy. But when that bell rings, he is as all business as it gets. Can you really get more laid back than Jeff Hardy? And be a professional athlete, I somewhat doubt it. I don't know, AJ looks like he'd rip your head off. I've seen him do it. Yeah, AJ is not looking to make any friends here. There's a lot of fans here that really respect the credentials of AJ Styles, but AJ doesn't care about the applause. He appreciates it, but the applause one way or another will not affect what he does against Jeff Hardy here today. We talked about competition, and that is what AJ Styles is all about. Whether you're seeing him wrestle in the state of Virginia, in the Carolinas, in Orlando at the Impact Zone, Philadelphia, New Jersey, California, anywhere in the country or in the world that AJ Styles appears, it is all about competition. It is all about being a legitimate athlete and proving what he can do. And Jeff Hardy turning the tables on AJ here in the early going. Of course, AJ Styles has been named Mr. TNA on repeated occasions and certainly one of the most established stars. When you think of TNA, you think of a man the likes of AJ Styles. Really, in a lot of ways, a contrast of styles here. From bell to bell, both guys are high-flying, they're innovative, but AJ, so intense, so hyper-competitive, wants to be the best, wants to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he is Mr. TNA. Jeff Hardy, more laid back, more relaxed. He'll come to Blue Banna High School and wrestle for TNA and give it his all, but if he misses a couple of weeks, it's not gonna ruin his life. Jeff Hardy is not the hyper-competitive athlete that AJ Styles is. Make no mistake about it, Jeff Hardy loves this sport and loves competing. But Jeff Hardy is his own human being and his own man and will epitomize that in every opportunity. Right now, both men trading blows back and forth, that series of hip tosses, and now off the rope, Jeff Hardy gets the final one in and goes to work on AJ's arm. Jeff Hardy doesn't feel like he has to prove anything to anyone. He knows exactly who he is. And if you love him, he appreciates that genuinely. If you don't, 
I really don't think Jeff loses any sleep over that. No, he certainly dances to the beat of his own drummer. And AJ right now, shot to the jaw. She sends Jeff Hardy back to the corner. Irish whip, Jeff Hardy up and over. Catches AJ coming in once again. Boy, Jeff is going to be hearing more music in his head than normal if AJ keeps tagging him with those flipper forearms. Hardy has eaten three or four of them right in the jaw. And of course, many of the fans here in attendance just watching this match and almost fascination not really knowing who to cheer for, who to boo, just watching two great athletes do their thing in the ring. Dare I say it's almost a Japanese atmosphere. It's almost a Kurikin Hall type atmosphere, respectful of the match, respectful of both wrestlers, not shouting or, or any slanderous remarks at either man, respectful of the competition, and man, AJ is leveling Hardy at every opportunity. AJ has him back, back to that corner one more time, smashing Jeff Hardy's head into the top turnbuckle. Contrary to what might be popular belief, this is not a first time ever meeting. These two men have tagged before in TNA and Jeff Hardy's very first match. Woo! Good God, it might be a last time meeting as AJ kicks the head off of the charismatic enigma. Confer, this might be it. Sparks with the count, but just a two. Jeff Hardy's very first appearance in TNA was at the 2004 anniversary pay-per-view where he faced the then X Division champion AJ Styles. And of course, AJ has been synonymous with the X Division title ever since then and even before then. And only recently in those wars with both Christopher Daniels and Samoa Joe, AJ was unable to recapture the gold. And of course, in Ultimate X, it was Christopher Daniels that came down with it, but certainly could have gone AJ's way. AJ puts some snap on that suplex for the charismatic enigma. Boy, Mike Sparks slides right in to be sure that the shoulders are down. AJ. Great officials as always in NWA TNA and the UWF. AJ trying not to let Jeff Hardy really have a second to breathe, which is exactly the thing you have to do with Jeff Hardy because he can just he, he can come at you from such any angle. You just never know what he's going to do next. Styles put the pressure on. Hardy as the crowd and Fubana comes to their feet. Some Hardy chaps, the elbow to the jaw. Stops Jeff Hardy dead in his tracks. Rocking the world of the charismatic enigma. If you watch AJ Styles, you see that those chants have not distracted him. He has not once gone to the fans. Each and every time, he has gone directly back to the head and neck, actually, of Jeff Hardy. Incredibly focused and intense. From bell to bell, AJ Styles, the most decorated athlete in TNA history. Former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, of course. Has not only held every championship that TNA has to hold, he's held them all twice. Of course, the one and only man to hold the Triple Crown in TNA. His referee, Mike Sparks, could be calling for the bell here. Styles not able to maintain that submiss submission maneuver, though. And then Deathlock, you sometimes see it called a Muda Lock, popularized by the great Muda. Jeff Hardy trying to fight his way around the corner. Hardy has been on the defensive for almost this entire contest. I'm surprised at just how much AJ Styles has taken Jeff Hardy out of this contest and once again catching him with that forearm. Hardy! Hardy wrestling smart and takes AJ off the top rope and AJ crashes to the floor. The top rope high risk maneuver does not pay off for AJ Styles who's now having to re regroup himself and Jeff Hardy could be looking to fly here. Baseball slide puts both feet in the chest of AJ. Hardy I think debating if he wants to take the chance. You better believe he's going to. Springboard puts all the body weight behind himself and takes AJ to the floor. You can see how much the earlier portions of this match have taken out of Jeff Hardy. He's having a, a very hard time getting his breath in this one. A lot of Hardy's critics will lambast his, what they feel his lack of dedication or desire. You can say about that what you will, but make no mistake, Jeff Hardy will absolutely have cover only a count of two, he will absolutely have to have his working boots on to defeat AJ Styles. Along those same lines, you always have to respect Jeff Hardy for being real. And that's exactly what you're going to get with Jeff Hardy, is a real human being. He's not fake in or out of the ring. 
That kick to the chest and the sternum was about as real as it gets for AJ. And now AJ is wide-eyed and looking bewildered. And really on the defensive for the first time. And ironically enough, AJ Styles has really turned into his own worst enemy in this contest, doing that high-risk maneuver when it may not have even been necessary. Oh, he had Hardy on the ropes all day long. Hardy with a thunderclap brain buster. Shades of dangerous Devin Storm taking us back to the 90s. AJ Styles holding his mouth there could have easily lost a tooth or two as his face met the canvas. Hardy puts all his body weight behind the charge. Unorthodox is a way that a lot of people would describe Jeff Hardy, but you cannot question his success. You cannot question his popularity. It is a cult-like following that will follow this man anywhere. Well, isn't that the truth? And AJ ducks the clothesline and goes all the way to the outside. Hardy goes to follow, but AJ's not there. It's an unusual strategy, but can it pay off for AJ? AJ went around the world for that roundhouse. Oh, oh man, they got each other. Wow, I don't know if the strategy paid off or not, but the double collision in mid-ring sends both men to the canvas. AJ was doing great until he turned around to meet the charismatic yeah. Enigma. Some Hardy chance, some AJ chance. This crowd very appreciative of both men's efforts in this one. Sparks continuing on the, with the 10 count. It's a great atmosphere here at Fluvanna County High School. We wish you could be here, but we thank you for your patronage of the home videos and the, and the High Spots TV downloads as now Styles and Hardy. Pele! Styles puts the Pele right into the temple of Jeff Hardy and the Enigma. They have been KO'd. That could indeed be the KO shot. It sends AJ Styles to victory here today. AJ going right back to Jeff Hardy. Styles takes him to the corner. Again, those flipper forearms, you do not understand how much velocity can be behind those shots. Sending Jeff Hardy into the corner, coming in. Jeff Hardy ducks down, drops AJ over the top rope, but AJ still has his wits about him all the way across the ring. Like a bullet, he scores. AJ with the cover, Sparks with the cap. Mike Sparks in great position, but only a count of two. You just cannot understand those flipper forearms, those back elbows, the Pele type kicks, those small strikes. It doesn't have to be the most visually spectacular, elaborate move to knock you out. Hardy, though, has got AJ and hits one of his trademark maneuvers, that jawbreaker. AJ goes for a spin kick. Hardy with a Russian leg sweep and flips back to his feet. Unique pinning combination. And AJ out this time. Woo, AJ just barely slipped out. A lot of the crowd here in Palmyra waiting with bated breath to see if that was going to be the finish to this hotly contested bout. Jeff Hardy now maintaining the offensive advantage, waiting for Styles to get to his feet. Catches him with a boot to the midsection. Come back, twisted fate, blocked by AJ Styles. Another back does not work. Back elbow does not work. Whisper in the wind! Whisper in the wind work! Hardy with the cover! The count! Woo! Another close one! Two and seven, eight! Boy, and Jeff Hardy thought he had this one won with a whisper in the wind. Hardy looking disgruntled. Looking like he doesn't know what to do next. He, I think he really thought, like you said, he had hit the ace with that whisper in the wind. AJ will put that boot right in your face. Hardy still coming out though. AJ up and over. Springboard, reverse DDT. Trademark AJ Styles, Mike Sparks, right there for two and a half. Ooh. Tremendous back and forth contest between two great athletes of total nonstop action. Where else but UWF and TNA can you see superstars like AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Samoa Joe, Chris Fernandez, Jeff Jarrett, Team 3D competing in unique, exciting, innovative matches in front of a crowd this enthusiastic and Styles is looking to take it home with the Styles Clash. Fighting for everything is worth trying to get Jeff Hardy up in the Styles Clash, but Hardy's blocking it as if his life depended on it. No, Hardy slips up, twist of fate. Nails it on AJ, Jeff Hardy with the twist of fate, but only if he can make a cover. This one's over with if Jeff Hardy can just make a cover. Twist of fate, Hardy used the ropes to pull himself up. AJ is on Dream Street. 
but Hardy is going to the ropes. Hardy's not going for a cover, but I do believe, I think I know what he's going for here. Hardy, second rope, going all the way up top. Are we gonna see what Todd Bob misses? AJ rolls out of the way at the last possible second. Hardy did not go for the cover after the twist of fate. And now he is in a defensive position as well. Hardy back to his feet. Styles is going up to meet him. Hooks the leg. Jackknife's over. No, he flips back. He flips back. Are you kidding me? Styles clash. He drops Hardy on his face. One, two, three. What an amazing move from the phenomenal AJ Styles. He flipped right out of the jackknife pin and into the Styles Clash. And what an amazing match between two of the premier athletes, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. If you are joining us on a highspots.com home release at UWF TNA for the first time, Firstly, where have you been? And secondly, that was the epitome of what the UWF and TNA is bringing to you, the viewer at home and the viewer on these exciting live events. The phenomenal AJ Styles with a tremendous victory over the charismatic enigma here in Palmyra, Virginia. It may have been Jeff Hardy's downfall for not going for the cover after the twist of fate. He may not have the win, but he has not lost any respect from these fans that are on their feet here in Virginia. If I may be permitted a pun, it was a phenomenal back and forth contest that has seen AJ Styles victorious. But man, what an effort from Jeff Hardy and matches like that We'll silence the critics in no time. And AJ going back to Jeff. Sometimes you'll hear AJ Styles talking about the code of the exhibition. And right there is showing the respect to Jeff Hardy. No hard feelings. The exhibition all about competition and all about excitement, which has been epitomized by these two athletes.